Well, hey everybody. This weekend's walk around tractor is going to feature one of my favorites. Um, th this is a, a 1955 Han built wheel horse right away senior. These tractors were a derivative from World War II as well, using a lot of surplus parts. Um, I recycled automotive parts like many of the manufacturers uh, were using at the time to build small truck garden vegetable farm type bigger than a lawn tractor but smaller than a farm tractor tractor. Um, this would have been wheel horse, specifically Elmer and Cecil Pond's second tractor. This would have followed the very first uh, Pond lever steer tractor built in 46 and 47. This really was a huge step up from, from the Pond in many, many ways. I should say the original Pond. Um, in 1948, a RS83 model came out, and that RS stands for Right Away Senior, and the uh, 83 stands for the horsepower of the engine. Um, all of the Right Away Senior tractors used a Wisconsin Model AEN engine, and the reason I understand for that, prior they, they seemed to be very partial to Briggs and their ZZs, but when they were sourcing transmissions, um, they opted to use a transmission and bell housing out of a Ford um, a V8 at the time, and, and as I understand it, Briggs and Strat wouldn't uh, warranty the Briggs engine for use with that clutch bell housing transmission setup. But uh, Wisconsin had no problem with it, so Wisconsin is the engine that they uh, standardized on. They were built uh, beginning in 1948 to prior uh, to uh, follow the pond lever steer. Um, but from 48 to 1954, they didn't have hoods. It was a hoodless tractor like many others. I think a lot of people might mistake uh, a hoodless uh, pond wheel horse, a right away senior with an economy or you know, similar size uh, shaped tractors. The hood came in 1955 as an option when wheel horse brought out the right away junior or known as the RJ, the RJ35 specifically. They wanted to uh, give it a little bit of style to, to, to look a little bit more like the um, uh, RJ that they, that, that they just brought to market. And when they developed the hood, it was styled after uh, the Ford farm tractors at the time. So in 1955, it would have been uh, Ford 600 or 800 series tractors with that little bumper, that bubble over the top center. And what's unique about the hood is it's all fiberglass versus steel or aluminum that other people were using at the time. Um, so a very intricate hood to have been made. Um, they were an option, but I, I think it gives a full tractor of just a little bit of class. So the drivetrain on all the right away seniors included the uh, Ford VA transmission clutch bell housing. Um, and the rear end, like many, was a uh, Ford. This is post Model A. Most, most of the earlier tractors I use a Model A, and this is actually a Ford V8 on the rear end that they narrow it up put their own um, uh, full gear housings on. Uh, depending on, on what automotive parts are available, you've seen generally two, possibly more styles of hubs and rear wheels. Um, this one here that I have has what I refer to as the long spoke wheels. Um, depending on the hubs they, that were available, they would have had a much uh, larger hub and a brake band in there. and. Um, would have had to have uh, shorter spokes on the wheels of the short spoke tractors. The uh, front spokes were standard as far as I know or I can tell. Um, they were the same front wheels used on the very last on uh, lever steer tractors as well. Original front tires were either 3 or 350 by 12. Um, most of them now, if they have new tires on them, you can't get 300 or 350s. Most of them have uh, fours, a uh, little bit wider. I've noticed on this one, I've got clearance, but I can't turn super, super short though either before they start to rub on the axle too. Just a little bit of a walk around here. Steering, utilize a uh, Ross gearbox like most. 
this particular tractor is a 1955. Um, so the hoods were only offered in 55 and 56, uh, throughout 1956, I should say. And what's special about this one, or what I love about 1955s, is it was the only year that they used this really big, ornate brass uh, kill switch in the hood. It's the same same kill switch that you'd see on a 1955 RJ35 or a right away junior at the time too and I just think they're really neat. Production on numbers, um, it's hard to really say. Um, I've, I've heard anywhere between three and six hundred of these were built. Um, relatively low production. I believe uh, currently known there's there's about 60 on the Rub registry that's uh, kept by uh, the wheel horse collectors. This particular tractor I bought um, from a collector down by St. Louis. His name is Steve Bubach. He had it for about 10 years in his collection of wheel horses. I felt uh, fortunate enough that uh, he decided to sell it to, to me, but it originated um, from wheel horse collector Larry Greener. Larry, I restored this tractor probably 10 to 15 years or so ago. Um, Larry's also known as the right away Senior King. I think he's told me he's had and restored over 10 of them, which, which is unheard of for anybody else. This is what I would consider a holy grail of my tractor collection there. They're not real common and uh, they're very sought after. But anyway, uh, I'm proud to have it here in Wisconsin. Definitely uh, one of my favorites and just wanted to share it with everybody else. Hopefully, um, hopefully you learn a little bit of something about the wheel horse right away senior. Have a wonderful weekend. See ya. Bye.